Welcome, Cancer, to your weekly reading. This is for the 10th to the 16th of April. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. How we're going to do this reading is we're going to start off by looking at the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is going to be the possible outcome of the week. Now, Cancer, we are going to be getting quite a few messages. If there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, it probably just means it's not meant to be your reading at this time. So we're going to start off with our Queen of Pentacles energy, and we're going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles in the possible energy beginning the week. So let's see what this energy is for you. And you have got the Judgment card. Cancer, I like this energy. It's a very strong energy and it's a very empowering energy. I really feel at the beginning of the week, you are presenting as Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it's the energy of the card. And Queen of Pentacles is a solid, stable, grounded queen. She knows where she's going and she knows what she has to do and she's really got this determination about her. With the judgment coming out underneath, I have a strong feeling a lot of my cancers are in a place in their lives where they are being very discerning about who or what they bring into their life. Judgment is really about an energy of really standing up and acknowledging the call of the trumpet, which is this angel's trumpet. What this judgment energy is telling me that you're in a place now, Cancer, where you're not going to tolerate nonsense. You're not going to tolerate other people's dramas, idiosyncrasies, bad behavior. You know what you need to do. You know where you're going and you're not going to suffer fools gladly. This is the energy we are seeing at the beginning of the week. Now let's look at the area that you should focus on with our Ten of Cups. Right, let's see now. What is this Ten of Cups energy for Cancer, please? What is this Ten of Cups energy? And you have got the Eight of Cups. Cancer, this is such a strong message and we saw this right from the first message, the beginning of the week. You, my dearest Cancer, are incredibly focused on your Ten of Cups and this is really being confirmed by the Judgment card. Your Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. And everybody's happily ever after is completely different. This is your particular happily ever after that is relevant to you now, okay? So we're talking about a now happily ever after. Not something that you want to manifest in a year's time or five years time. It's something that you want to work on now. I do get this energy of walking away from things and people that are not working for you, Cancer. I almost get this energy of you doing a big sweep, a cleanup. You know, it's like an emotional cleanup, a spiritual cleanup, and a cleanup in terms of situations and people in your life. I do not think, my dear Cancers, you are allowing anything or anyone in that you feel is going to affect and disrupt you getting to your Ten of Cups. And you know what, Cancer? Good for you, because there's a lot of strength here. There's a lot of determination here. And generally, being Cancerians, you know you're very emotional. You're very aware of other people's emotions and feelings. There are times you can easily be drawn into it. But what I'm seeing this week, oh no, you've got your eye on your Ten of Cups and you're moving. 
And if anything comes in your way that you feel is destructive, toxic and doesn't work, you're walking away from it. Well done, Cancer. It's a very strong energy. Let's go ahead now and look at the unexpected energy coming in. And we just want to see who or what this Queen of Swords energy is. What is this Queen of Swords energy for Cancer, please? What is this Queen of Swords energy? Oh, there we go. Justice. Cancer, I think you are going to shock a lot of people. You know, Cancer, I just want to go ahead and get one more card on the Queen of Swords. Let's see if we can just get one more piece of this puzzle because it is sitting in your unexpected and I want to see who or what this Queen of Swords is for you. And you've got the Ace of Wands. So we're just going to pop this over here for now and we're looking at your unexpected. You know, Cancer, we saw you starting off the week as our Queen of Pentacles, right? Solid, grounded, focused. I think unexpectedly, you are also going to be working with Queen of Swords energy. And it is unexpected because Queen of Swords is a real no-nonsense queen. She says what she has to say and she does what she has to do. She really takes emotion out of the equation. And I see you working with this energy as well this week. And this energy is very much with regards to an Ace of Wands energy. Now this Ace of Wands could arrive this week. This is the energy of an untapped, unexplored opportunity, possibility, or it could be something that's already in your realm. And you are focusing on this with such determination. As you can see, she's got her sword up here and she's like, right, I am heading for this Ace of Wands. I'm going to do whatever I can in my power to bring it about. And I am not going to let my emotions or the emotions of people around me come in and cloud and mix up everything. Now, can you see here, justice is sitting underneath everything. Justice is holding up the sword as well. So we've got these two sword energies, which is very much about being clear, precise, and really bringing in the balance, right, into the situation. It's very interesting, Cancer, because I think why this energy is sitting in your unexpected is people don't expect you to behave like this. People expect Cancer to soften, Cancer to give in, Cancer to relent. But this week, Cancer is not relenting. Cancer is not being soft. When it comes to this Ace of Wands, and I think this Ace of Wands is very much connected to your Ten of Cups, there is something you see here, something you feel here. It's going to be different for everybody, but you're not relenting. And I have to commend you, Cancer, because I know it's not easy for you. You know, when people come to you and they say, oh, cancer, I'm feeling this and I'm, I'm sad and I'm emotional. Cancer is the first one to crumble and be there to support this, whatever it is that's going on. But not this week. This week, you are holding so strong and justice is coming in and saying it's perfect. It's the right thing to do because in order to bring this about, you have to focus on you. You have to focus on this Ace of Wands and that's the way it's going to happen. Incredible. I like to see this cancer. Right, now we are going to look at messages and advice from Spirit and we've got the Nine of Wands. So let's see what this Nine of Wands energy is for you. Right, what is this Nine of Wands energy for Cancer, please? What is this Nine of Wands energy? And you've got Nine of Cups. Look at that, your two nines. Now look how interesting this message is. 
Cancer, divine is telling you, you know what it is to be in nine of wands energy. And as you can see, we've got our wounded warrior here looking quite exhausted, fatigued, depleted, because cancer is always there for everybody else, always giving, giving, giving. But now, this week, cancer's not. Cancer's taking care of cancer. Cancer has an incredible realization that this is a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful possibility. And if you do not look after it, protect it, and give it all you've got, there is a possibility that it will be lost, but you're not taking it. And Divine is saying, you know what it is to be wary, to be fatigued, because you've just given everybody everything and there's nothing left for you. But this week, when you take care of you first, you're going to bring in your Nine of Cups energy. And Nine of Cups, my dearest Cancerians, is a wish fulfillment. So by protecting yourself, by protecting your energy, by protecting your Ace of Wands, you are going to bring in Nine of Cups. There is going to be a wish fulfillment. This Nine of Cups is connected to your Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment in regards to whatever this dream is, this happily ever after, that's relevant for you now. Wonderful to see and what a beautiful, clear message coming through from Divine. Right, now we're going to go ahead and see what this star energy is as the possible outcome of the week. So now we want to now clarify the star for Cancer, please. What is the star energy for Cancer? King of Pentacles. Cancer, this is beautiful. We saw you starting off the week as the Queen of Pentacles. We saw you working with Queen of Swords energy in terms of protecting your Ace of Wands that's connected to your Ten of Cups. At the end of the week, we see you now presenting as King of Pentacles. You're stronger than ever. This is your Divine Feminine. This is your Divine Masculine. You are working with both sides. You are acknowledging who you are as an emotional, receptive, kind, nurturing being. But you are also acknowledging there is another side to you, another side that can go after what you want, another side that can put you first, that can say, I'll be there for you, but I'm taking care of me now. Wonderful. And you are stronger than ever. By the end of the week, the King of Pentacles is strong, is solid, just as our Queen is strong and solid, grounded and focused. But now you are merging both your masculine and feminine energies and you are bringing about the star. And the star, my dearest Cancerians, is about blessings coming in. This is what you're doing. You are now standing up and saying, I'm taking care of me, I'm seeing, I'm acknowledging me. And when you do that, so your blessings now start coming in. It's not that you are ignoring or being rude to anybody around you. It's just about looking after yourself. And you know, Cancer, when we look after ourselves, we have much more to give to others down the line. Because in nine of one's energy, we are depleted by worrying and taking care of everybody else first. There's nothing left for ourselves. But this week, you are a powerhouse. So I just have to really commend you because I know this is different for you. I know this is not your natural way of being, but you are an absolute force to be reckoned with. Right, let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we now want to see what is Cancer's spirit animal for this week, please. What is Cancer's spirit animal? Your 
you have got the wolf spirit. Number 67, turn knowledge into wisdom. And do you ever? 67 is your auspicious number. So the numbers 6 and 7, any combination, any variation of these numbers, please consider a lucky sign. The wolf is your spirit animal. So wherever a wolf comes up for you, Cancer, this too is a very, very lucky sign. And your message, turn knowledge into wisdom. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. You understand how you always reach nine of wands energy by giving, giving, giving. And now, this week, you are really saying, okay, I'm going to do something a little bit different because that is not working for me. I'm going to look after me. I'm going to take care of my needs, mind, body, and soul. And then when I am on my way to my 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups energy, and my blessings are starting to flow in, then I will look to see how I can be there for others. But right now I'm looking after me. Way to go, Cancer wonderful week, empowering week, and I think you're really going to feel the effects of it in quite a significant way. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week, and I'm sending you all so much love.